Villas can refer to several things depending on the context. In general, a villa is a luxurious and spacious country house. Historically, villas were rural estates owned by the Roman upper class, but the term has evolved to refer to various types of substantial homes or estates with land. In modern usage, villas can be found all around the world and are often associated with upscale vacation rentals, tourist resorts, or high-end residential properties. What specifically would you like to know about villas? I see. Having Deborah's arm around you can feel like a warm, caring embrace. It's a physical expression of her support and affection towards you. It might even make you feel protected in some way. The act of having someone's arm around you can create a sense of closeness and comfort, reminding you that you are not alone. How does having Deborah's arm around you make you feel? If Jim was born in 1946, that would make him 77 years old in 2023. It's incredible to think all the life experiences he's had since his birth in 1946. From witnessing pivotal historical events to seeing remarkable technological advancements. People who were born in 1946 are often referred to as baby boomers, and they have had a significant impact on culture, music, politics, and more. Jim could be an individual with a wealth of knowledge, wisdom, and stories from his life thus far. Puck on doesn't appear to be a standard word or term that I'm familiar with. It's possible that it could be a typo, a name, or a term specific to a particular context or dialect. If you could provide more information or context about puck on, I may be able to ass assist you better. Otherwise, it's not something commonly recognized. Leah Friday seems to be a person, although it's not a common name. If she's someone you know or have heard about, could you give me a bit more information about her? What is her significance? Or what are you curious about regarding Leah Friday? Without more context, it's difficult to provide a comprehensive answer. 